lesson, we are going to go through how to integrate member space into a super notion website. I've already set up circle to integrate with the site and I want to leverage member spaces, single sign on with circle so that I can then set up a member space plan that people can pay for to access content and the community. So the first thing we're going to do is hop into member space and our website address is going to be our domain here, the Magical Unicorn Agency. So paste that here. For our platform, we are going to select Notion and then enter in your site name and click All Done. So now we're going to select which pages we want to protect using member space. So um, in a previous video, we set up a pretty URL for this page. So I'm going to just grab this part here. And add it. And click add now. So now I'm going to add another page. So going back to my website, I want to block this article as well. So um, I can either grab this URL or I can go back into Notion. And on my main page, I'm going to go up to share and I'm going to make sure that this allow duplicate as template is toggled off, which, is, which it is. If it's toggled on, it won't work properly with member space. And I'm going to go to that article that I want to gate and under share, I'm going to grab this notion URL and I'm going to go into super and I'm going to add another pretty URL and paste that in here. And I will name this three workflows for onboarding. hit continue and save that. So going back, I'm going to click back into this and now the URL has updated. So I'm going to grab this slug here and copy it into member space and click add now. So now I have two pages that will be gated to people that are members only. You can add more um, now or you can add more later, but the important thing to take away from this part is that for member space to properly protect your content in Notion, you have to use the pretty URLs. So let's go to the next setup step. And then you create a member plan. If you set up a payment plan, you will need to integrate with Stripe. So if you wanted to be able to charge for your community or content, then you could connect to your Stripe account. For the sake of this lesson, so that I don't have to set up my Stripe, I'm going to go ahead and choose free. So my plan name is going to be Unicorn Community. And if they are a part of this plan, they can access these pages and hit create this plan. So now that we're on this page, I'm going to hit get sign up link and copy this URL. And the first thing I'm going to do is head into circle and paste that under the general section. When you make your community private, you have the option to customize your sign up now link and so I'm going to paste that URL here and hit save. And then within Notion, I am going to head over here and I'm going to link my sign up here 
to that plan. And then head back into member space. I'm going to select next setup step. And now I need to complete the circle integration and setting up the single sign-on. So I'm going to click on integrations and select circle. And then heading back into circle, I am going to head to single sign-on and I'm going to toggle enable SSO. Once you are ready to go live with this, I recommend turning off the allow members for the circle account to sign in. However, if you're still playing around with domains and settings, I would keep it on so that you don't lose access to circle via your email if you're an admin. And I'm going to head to general real quick and grab that sign up now link, copy it, and then under single sign on, I'm going to toggle this allow members to sign up via a custom URL and I'm going to turn that on and paste that URL here. And then under this OAuth provider, um, you are going to select member space, but for now, we are just going to grab this callback URL and copy it and then head into member space and paste it here. And we want to allow members to have access to our unicorn community. So let's integrate with Circle. So now you need to copy over a few more things into Circle. So first we'll grab our client ID and paste it here. Then we'll grab our secret key, copy it, and paste it here as well. And then we need to copy our member space URL and paste that here. Now let's hit save changes and go back into member space and click update now and click next setup step. So now we need to integrate member space. And instead of copying this into circle, we're actually going to turn off this display a login account button. Copy this and we are going to go into super and click on the settings icon. Head to super options and underneath the code that's already here from setting up circle, we are going to paste that member space code here and hit save. Let's go back into circle. We'll enable this SSO, hit save changes. So now let's head back into member space and you'll see that we um, did not toggle this display a login account button, but we do need to give people the option to view their member space information and update it or cancel their plan accordingly. So I would like to add a button to my website that allows people to view their account on the magicalunicornagency.com. So I am going to create a button and I have some code here. And I'm just going to update this to be my new member space domain. And this code will be available in the text of this lesson. And I'm going to copy this, which is essentially code for a button. And once you copy that, head to super again and click on settings of your super URL. And once again, under super options, we're going to scroll to the bottom of our snippet injection box, do a few spaces and paste that code in and hit save. And essentially what I did with this code was I replaced this URL with the URL from this login account pop-up. 
So let's go to our website and let's hit refresh. So now you'll see this log in sign up button. One thing I want to do before we walk through these, this integration is go back into member space. And as you can see, now it's registered that we've integrated member space. So I'm going to go back into customize and I'm going to click on look and feel. And I'm going to just set up my sign up page to be a little bit more on brand. So I'm going to change this button. to be my brand's pink and hit save changes and for account I will change the text color to be pink as well and hit save and then for sign up that looks good as well so now I've customized my sign up screen so now let's head back to my website and make sure everything is working. So first I'm going to hit sign up here and it goes to my sign up pop-up and let's click on my button and this only gives me the option to log in. So let's give users the option to log in or sign up. So back in member space let's go to customize and let's go to general options and we are going to enable create account button with login form. And when they create an account, we'll have people join our unicorn community. And let's save our changes. So let's go back to our website and let's X out of this and hit refresh. And let's hit our button again. And now we can either log in or create an account. So now let's see if we can access content without being a member. So since we're not a logged in member, it's redirected us back to the sign in page. So let's go ahead and sign up. And you'll see that the button has changed to show your account instead of sign in or log in. So now I can edit my profile, change my password or my email, and access information about the plans I've signed up for. And if you had connected it to Stripe, it would have gone to a Stripe payment screen after the initial sign up screen. So now I'm going to try and access that blog content. So I didn't get redirected. So now let's check out our circle member space single sign on. So clicking on the circle widget in the bottom right hand corner, we have the option to continue on to our community with member space. And now we can access circle directly from our super.so notion site. From here, you can add little call to actions at the end of your blog post that links people to your circle community directly so they can have the in-browser experience as well. So this has been a lesson on how you can integrate member space with circle and leverage their single sign-on, as well as block content for members only using member space, super, and notion. If you have any questions, as always, reach out. Thanks for watching.